with our emergency team, we are working closely with provincial and federal officials to ensure that we will receive our priority share of the vaccine rollout, and we will be acquiring the necessary refrigeration system in storing some of those vaccines. I have personally met with Premier Kenny and Minister Wilson regarding the initial rollout of the vaccine and the next phase for all of our frontline workers and our elders. They continue to be supportive of our needs and have instructed their people to work closely with us in ensuring that our membership will get priority on vaccinations. It is with all sincerity and empathy that we are informing you, our membership, about the importance of following the safety precautions that we have established and the necessity of enacting additional rules towards everyone's health and safety. We require everyone's cooperation and help in combating this dangerous virus, and we need to look after the total safety of our Ghana blood tribe. May our Creator bless and protect us from this pandemic, and may we protect each other. Okay, guys, Okay, can now. Mr. Wokok, Matsuamani. I am Rick Soup, the Director of Emergency Management for the Bud Tribe. Due to a recent spike in COVID 19 related cases, Chief McGinnema will be making an important announcement to our community. In addition, Chief and Council has met today with the following important information to, to be delivered from myself to the community. Pursuant to its inherent authority and the Blood Tribe Ghana Emergency Protection Bylaw on January 15th, 2021, the Blood Tribe Chief and Council ordered that the following measures shall be in force on the Blood Tribe effective immediately. These measures shall continue for at least the next 30 days and until further order of Chief and Council. Number one, all restrictions and safety measures will be strictly enforced through the coordination of Blood Tribe Department of Health, Director of Emergency Management and team and Blood Tribe Police. Two, all individuals that are ordered to be in quarantine by Blood Tribe Department of Health or by Alberta Health Services through contact tracing must stay in strict quarantine as directed or they will be subject to applicable penalties. Three, the current curfew is now 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. and shall be strictly enforced. Four, 
travel on the blood reserve is restricted to essential reasons only, including authorized work to purchase food and fuel and for medical purposes. There shall be no social gatherings for any purpose, including at private residences. All scheduled community functions and gatherings, including blood tribe administration departments and entities shall be canceled until further notice and any in-person meetings shall be limited to a maximum of 10 persons, keeping in mind that all safety measures need to take place, including masking, physical distancing of at least two meters and hand sanitizing. So that was number five. Number six, no wakes will be permitted at private residences and all families are advised to follow all Alberta health safety measures at funeral homes, especially gathering limits. No blood tribe department or entity staff shall attend at funerals or wakes unless they are immediate family. Number seven, all blood tribe departments and entity services are limited to essential operations and further worksite limitations, including A, non-essential departments will be open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and staff will be on rotation for the three days. Staff must work at home on Tuesday and Thursday or any other workday when not in the office. Reception services shall be available from Monday to Friday. Essential services shall remain open to ensure the blood tribe community continue to receive quality support and services. Each department or entity shall create a work schedule to ensure staff are on rotation for three days at the office and two days working from home. Number eight, all entryways to blood tribe departments and entities will require temperature checks and all persons accessing public services shall provide contact information. All blood tribe members and other persons residing on the blood reserve shall remain within their own family cohort. The mandatory number 10, the mas mandatory masking shall continue community wide. And number 11, all persons shall continue to physical distance at least two meters when in public, unless they are with their family cohort. If there is a conflict with the measures in this order and any federal or provincial law or regulation, this order is paramount and must be followed on the blood reserve. Uh, I'd like to just conclude by saying, um, I'd like to thank you all for your understanding towards these safety measures and please continue to be safe. I know COVID has taken us on a long journey, even though we haven't been actually able to go any place, but your continued cooperation will help us to make sure that we are safe and that we will be ready once the vaccine arrives to, to our community. And uh, I believe Chief McGinema will be give, uh, addressing this in his um, presentation. Thank you.